going on? We're going to see Finding Dory and I like Squirt. Squirt. We're going to see Finding Dory and Clara likes Squirt. <laughs> That's all you need to know right now, huh? It's funny. <laughs> it's funny? Are you excited to see this movie? Yeah, it's funny. Woo! I'm excited to see it too. We're with these guys. Woo! So yeah, it's a good way to spend your Tuesday, right? Claire, give me that popcorn so I can make it even more unhealthy. This is unhealthy in a in a spray. All oh right, yeah, good. lather it on there. There you go. Buttery popcorn served extra buttery. Excited for this movie? Yeah. What do you think is going to happen to Dory in this movie? She's going to lose her mind. She's going to lose her mind? Yeah. Or her memory maybe. There's too much going on on screen for Claire to talk to me. What do you think is going to happen to Dory in this movie? I think she gets eaten by a shark. These guys are morbid. I think she gets found. That's what I think. It's called finding Dory, right? And we're gonna, they're going to find her. Finding Dory! Hi. How'd you like it? Did you like the movie? Yeah. I liked it too. There was an octopus in it named Hank. Come here, Hank. Come here, buddy. There was an octopus in the movie. He was named after you. He was named after you. He was kind of like you too. You guys had similar personalities. He just wanted to, you know, like, live the easy life in the aquarium. That's like you, huh? That's like you. Anyways, spoiler alert. Claire, what happened in the movie? Dory got found. Finding Dory, they found her. We thought it was a pretty fun movie. Yeah. You thought it was a fun movie? Yeah. Hank, did you think it was a fun movie? <laughs> Hank thought it was a fun movie too. But he's just speculating because he didn't actually see it. He didn't go to the theater with us. You see, they don't let dogs go to the movie theater. But if he was an octopus like Hank in the movie, he could have like made himself blend in and he could have got into the theater. Right, Hank? Yeah. You gotta learn how to blend in like Hank the octopus. Yeah. Hank the dog and Hank the octopus. <laughs> Kindred spirits. Claire, what'd Grandma and Grandpa give you? Who is that? What is that? Dory. That's Dory. Hold it still. Does she swim? Yeah. I think she just keeps swimming. Let me see this. We need to get this thing in the water. Swimming Dory. Hold it up so I can get a good thumbnail. <laughs> Let me see your face too. Hold it down a little bit. There we go. Look at me. Look at the camera. Okay, that should do it. Just keep swimming. Just keep swimming. What do we do? We swim. 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 Look at that, Dory. She's swimming around. I can't even see your face. Whoa, put her back in. Let her swim so fast. Let her swim fast in the water. And she's swimming. Keep swimming, Dory. Claire, you got Dory in a little fish tank. Yeah. She needs a bigger, she needs an ocean to swim around in. Put her in that tub. There she goes. Now she's swimming. You got Dory? Yeah. How's your tub time? Fine. Let me see Dory. <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> Woo! She's going on an adventure. Make sure she doesn't forget where she's going. <laughs> it's, it's a toy. Oh, it's not the real Dory? No. I was confused. I'm sorry. Hey. Hey. Come back here, you dinosaur. Hank. Hank. Crazy. Oh, it's a good boy. Watch this. He knows a trick. Ready? Come here, buddy. Kind of weird, right? Oh, here comes Zach. What's he doing? Hey, buddy. Order a kid. That's Isa Stork. <laughs> Ah, here you guys go. 
Sorry, I was running a little bit late. Dad. What time is it? Game time. Game time. Ice cream time. Keaton and Laura are here doing some ice cream. We saw Finding Dory, and now we're playing this goofy card game that this man came up with. Code names. Or actually, it's a real game in a box. <laughs> Hank, you want to play this game? He's so no. in trouble. <laughs> All right, let's play. We won! We won! Way to go, team yeah, member. We won't even talk about how they won one of the rounds. We just, we, we, we won. We it was you and me. We won. Congratulations on winning. Congratulations. Thanks. Alrighty, before I close it up today, I kind of wanted to talk about something personal. Are you guys cool with that? If you don't want to hear anything personal, just end the vlog now. You can go check out one of the other videos. So, today at work, we did a little thing... A little training. It was actually a suicide prevention training. See, I work with troubled youth, and that's something that matters. Uh, we were doing a suicide prevention training, and I got up in the morning, and I went to it, and honestly, I didn't really think anything of it. Um, but uh, I, during the training, I mean, you guys know my younger brother passed away about three months ago, and um, and. Uh, and during the training, I started feeling weak in the knees and in the elbows. I started sweating. My heart was pounding real fast just because they were talking about suicide. And uh, it was hard, man. And I, I was all, all I wanted to do was get up and run out of that room. But I didn't. I felt like I needed to be there because it was work. Finally, when we had a break, I went in the bathroom and I just like was like, washed my face off. It's like, what is wrong with me? What is going on? I didn't even really register that that might be a panic attack until later on in the day when I was explaining what had happened to somebody else. They're like, dude, I think you had a, a panic attack. And I'm a little bit embarrassed to admit it, and, but up to this point in my life, I didn't, I wasn't even sure panic attacks were a real thing, you know? That's kind of a rude thing to say. But like, you know, I've been, I've been a manager at places before, uh, a guy that's been in charge of other employees and people have called and said, Hey Zach, I can't come to work because I had a panic attack. And like, I, I was always cordial on the phone and said, okay, you know, just let us know when you're able to come back, you know, and, and just kind of went through the steps of figuring that out. But in my head, I always kind of thought like, all right, are you just saying that because you didn't want to come to work? Uh, but panic attacks are a very real thing, and and they can be more debilitating to other people. You know, they they can vary in scale a little. But I, to be honest, I don't know a ton about it. I just I, I think I had one today, <laughs> and uh, and it, it was kind of crazy, and it opened my eyes a little bit more. Throughout this whole experience, has opened my eyes to be more compassionate to people because you don't know individual stories. So just don't judge people. You know, like when people say they had a panic attack. And, and maybe you're the type of guy that anytime you get hurt, you rub some dirt on it. That's how I was raised. And you just get on with it. Um, like, I was able to finish the day at work. I was, you know, not fine. I was definitely shook up, but I, I got through it. Um, but for some people, it's different. And I think we need to be compassionate to all people, no matter what's going on with them. Like, you, you, you're not inside their head. You're not feeling what they're feeling. So you really don't know uh, what's going on for them. So... Anyways, that's a personal thing that happened to me, and I hope that we can all be more compassionate to other people's shortcomings and, and, and their trials. And we can try to understand, but at the end of the day, it's, it's going to be very difficult for us to can, like walk a day in their shoes. So we don't really know how things are for them, and, and we need to be compassionate and kind and caring to those people and supportive. So thanks for watching today, guys. Uh, hopefully that wasn't too personal for you. And that is all for today. Thanks for watching your daily duties. If it's your first time here, welcome. We're glad to have you. Uh, go ahead and click that subscribe button so you can check us out on the daily. Love you guys. See you tomorrow.